Hey everybody, Reverend Fuzzy back again. I'm everywhere that you want to be. <laughs> well, people are still asking questions and I'm still coming up with answers. This time somebody asked, what about all the wars that are caused in the name of Christianity? Yeah, they usually do eventually get around to that one, and here it is. First, let me say that a lot of things have been done in the name of Christianity that Jesus would totally disavow. Just because someone claims to be a Christian doesn't necessarily make him a follower of Christ, nor does it make him a representative of Jesus. You see, there's a difference between a religion and a relationship with the Lord. Jesus is not interested in the religion of Christianity. He's interested in you having a relationship with him. Jesus never said, I've come that you might have religion. He said, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. A lot of people have claimed to be followers of Christ, but they've lived their lives contrary to his teaching. We shouldn't label that group Christian. But let me say this. Have you ever seen a counterfeit dollar? Well, maybe you haven't, but maybe you've heard of them. Why are there counterfeit dollars in the world? Well, I'll tell you why. Because there are real dollars in the world. If there were no real dollars, there would be no counterfeits. And if you find counterfeit Christianity in the world, it must mean that somewhere there must be the real thing. The point is, we don't identify Jesus by claiming that all the things that were done in his name were done by him. In fact, Jesus prevented his own disciples from defending themselves against the enemies when he said, I want you to turn the other cheek. And that was in the uh, book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 39, if you want to look it up. Now, a lot of wars have been done in the name of Christianity that Jesus probably would have disavowed. So that's what it simply boils down to, is justification. It's somebody saying, I really want in on this war, but I don't want to take the responsibility. The real issue is, do you know Jesus Christ? You see, it doesn't matter so much what has been done by hypocrites or phonies or false followers of Christ. What matters is, do you know the real, true, genuine item? Have you ever turned your life over to Jesus Christ? If you haven't, I would encourage you to look into doing so very soon. Okay, everybody, I'm going to take off for now. But before you go, don't forget to show us some love and smack that like button. And if you haven't already done so, also smack that subscribe button, followed by smacking the notification bell, so you'll be notified when we post new videos on here. Alright, catch y'all later.